What's up, beautiful people? Your boy George here with Vegas Must Try, and today we're here at the Aria Hotel and Casino because we're checking out the newest food hall in Las Vegas. It's called Proper Eats right behind us. It took the place of the old Aria Buffet, and today we're trying one thing from every single restaurant. Let's do this. So I'm settled here at Proper Eats, and like I said, this used to be the old Aria Buffet. Now, I had reviewed it in the past, and I didn't think it was one of the better ones on this trip. So let me know in the comments, did you like the Aria Buffet, and where would you rank it with all the other buffets here in Vegas? Proper Eats is a food hall comprised of nine different dining destinations, and the cool thing about this place is that they got different restaurants from different places. So for example, the Soul Bird, which is a Korean fried chicken place, that place is from London. Then you have Wexler's, which is from LA. Then you also have Shalom Y'all, which is Mediterranean food, and I personally love that name. We have Temaki Bar, which is right behind me, which is a surf sushi. Then you also have Lola's Burgers, pretty self-explanatory, and one of the most famous ones right now, Pizza Aoki, which is Steve Aoki's pizza brand. Not to mention they also have Egghead, which is closed right now because they're only open in the mornings. I think it's probably similar to Exla, where they serve uh, breakfast sandwiches and stuff like that. And there's also Easy's, Easy's Donuts right in the front. Right now it's also closed. And something cool that a lot of people don't know is that they actually have a speakeasy. The speakeasy just opened a few days ago and it's hidden right behind Easy's Donuts. So it's called Easy Speakeasy. This is a cool place that we're actually gonna check out after we're done with all the food. All right, so there are a couple of ways of ordering here at Proper Eats. One is scanning the QR code and ordering through your phone. You can order at every single restaurant and check out and then go pick up your food. Or you can also go to the kiosk. When you go to the kiosk, you see what the items, uh, the items that they have available, and it's basically a to-go system. And the same way, you go and pick it up right at each location. Now I'm starting off here at Temaki Bar because I want a hand roll. Hand rolls are only available if you sit at the bar. If I were to go to that kiosk, it'd be only like cut rolls and to-go orders essentially. Here, and I'm only getting two of the hand rolls. I'm getting the toro, which is the fatty tuna, and I'm also getting the salmon. Not to mention, because you know I'm a degenerate, I got myself some Asahi, which is a Japanese beer. Nice and thick, prepared right in front of me. And right here I got the spicy tamaki sauce, and then we got some ponzu sauce. Taste it for what it is. Mm. You can judge sushi by the quality of the rice and obviously the quality of the meat. And this is delicious. For my liking, I actually think this is really good. Let's dip it into the ponzu sauce. Oh yeah, get it nice and wet. This is fire. This is heat. Got the second one, which is the toro, fatty tuna. Mmm. Oh man. The way that I describe toro is basically like buttery. Melts in your mouth. I mean, this is my favorite type, Otoro and Chutoro. Yo, that roll was life changing. No wonder it's 10 bucks. I mean, I would probably pay another 10 bucks to have another one. It's so, so good. One down, we got five more to go right now. All right, so we are back situated here on the regular table and I got myself something from the Laughing Buddha. Tonkotsu ramen, which is my favorite one. Pork based Tonkotsu ramen. Nice pieces of chashu up here, which is pork. I need some of that broth first. Not bad. Not as fatty, but uh, good taste, which is what matters. I take it back, it is pretty fatty, and I love fatty. I love fatty tonkotsu broth. All right, yo, that pork belly is sensational. It has a nice bite to it, but also has enough fat that it melts in your mouth. So the ramen in and of itself, I'm not the biggest fan of, but the chashu, and the actual broth is like, it's worth getting this bowl for. They have a really good amount of chashu and ramen. So if you're hungry here on the Las Vegas Strip, definitely go for this. All right, let's check out the burger before I keep eating because I'm gonna finish this. It's pretty freaking good. Before I get started, let me get a beer break. I got the smash burger, double meat, double cheese. Check this out. Oh, man. These fries right here aren't your regular fries. Check this out. These fries are onion rings, regular fries, and you also have some fried uh, like jalapenos. You know what? Let's get crazy. Why not? We're young. Yo, this is really good. I asked around and I was like, which one's the most popular item? And a lot of people said Lola's Burgers were really popular. Hey, dude, I love it. And there's pickles in here. Let's go, man. I love pickles. Oh, Jesus Christ. It got heavy. Nice and zesty. 
fire. All right, so I just wanted to go ask, and this is called Dijon A sauce. This is called innovation. Oh, oh God. So as I'm waiting for my food, I ask why there's a DJ here, and apparently there's a DJ here Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays from 7 p.m. to closing. I'm excited for the food that's coming out and also to check out the speakeasy right after. So guess what? My mic was unplugged for this section, so bear with me. So I got the chicken shawarma pita for $18 from Shalom Y'all. And I also got this case stack, which is two chicken sandwiches on top of each other. This was also $18, but look at this beef. So I am not super versed with Mediterranean food, but this was actually pretty good. So much so that it's probably my second most favorite thing I had at Proper Eats, right behind the sushi hand roll. Chicken shawarma actually reminds me of al pastor, the way they season it, and sometimes they cut it from their own version of the trompo. But yeah, I thought this was a bit expensive, $18, but once I carried it, that it's got a lot of weight into it. I don't think you'd be disappointed if you get this. So next up is the case stack. Two chicken sandwiches stacked on top of each other, and this is from Soulbird. I have to be completely honest, this was probably my least favorite thing I had during this trip, and that is because the chicken was a bit too sweet, but that is Korean uh, sauce for you. The Korean sauce that they add on chicken sometimes is a bit sweet, and I think I was already getting a bit full. So there is a time and place for this sandwich, it just wasn't at this time. I do have to note that this is probably the best bang for your buck that you can get here at Proper Eats. Two chicken sandwiches for $18, that's pretty nuts. And I think that if I wasn't completely full, I would have enjoyed it a whole lot more. And last but not least, I had to go to Pizza Aoki. If you don't know who Steve Aoki is, he's basically a DJ who comes from some pretty cool family. His dad used to own Benihana's. Look at this bad boy. This pizza is 18 inches and it is the meat lover's pizza. Some of my friends have prepped me and told me that pizza aoki wasn't that good, but I actually disagree with them. The first time I had it was about a week ago, and I thought it was maybe a 7 out of 10. Pretty decent, but this was actually made fresh, and it made it a whole lot better. So I definitely recommend if you're getting pizza aoki to probably get a whole pie so it comes out fresh. Otherwise, you're probably going to get the ones that are on display, and they're just going to heat them up. So if I had to give it a rating, I would probably say 8.25 out of 10, but it has to be fresh. All right, so I definitely have to get a lot of the food to go because now i'm going to this speakeasy called easy that's basically right behind me next to the donut shop and i asked and yes i'm gonna be allowed to put this on the side while i go in there honestly i am so full but i am super excited to go and check out the newest speakeasy in las vegas let's do it i already filmed this and i didn't even see that <laughs> okay It's a lot better than I was expecting. Intimate place that holds about 50 people. They have live music at all times. I really like what they did here. You know, they really maximize the space. I got my first drink here and I got a mezcal, paloma. Paloma basically grapefruit and mezcal. We'll do it in Joseph Soul style. This is good. At every table, you're gonna have one of these assortments of strawberries and the chocolates right on top. Cocktails are a little bit up there in price, but I'm telling you, that has probably got to be the best Paloma I've ever had. This is gonna be the perfect place to have a date. You're gonna wow them, and uh, you're probably gonna get lucky that night. All right, so I just got another drink here, and it's technically a whole presentation of it. It comes in a cigar box, and the cool thing is that it comes with a smoke, so it's called the Smoke Show. Check this out, check out this presentation for the drink. Like, no such thing as a martini glass or a rock glass. We have like a pipe what's here we also got some like uh like cigarettes here like candy cigarettes i'm gonna shoot this bad boy i think this is the way you do it oh that's good it tastes like an old-fashioned if you added ice to this in a rock glass it would basically be a whole cocktail i wasn't planning on drinking tonight all right, so they saw me filming and they want to bring out another one of the specialty drinks. I guess we're drinking tonight. Take care, guys. Happy birthday once again. I see. Cool, cool, cool. All right, up next, you know, they kind of convinced me into getting this Truman. It's going to be a gin. It has honey as well and some lemon and matcha. So let's stick the straw right in here. Yo, this is good. 
nice sugar on the rim right here. And then a cool overall presentation. Okay, this is really good. All right, guys, so there you have it. Proper eats here at the Aria Hotel and Casino. It took the place of the old buffet, and in my opinion, it's a much better decision. I got my food here to go. I got the Aoki pizza, and your boy is full. I'm pretty drunk, so I'm gonna keep walking around this trip for a little bit. If you like this video or found any value whatsoever, please remember to give this video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and also comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next time. Peace.